wanted to highlight a set I just bought. Um, I've had a few singles from this in the past, but I saw this set come up for sale on eBay and I just really love it. So I, uh, I took the plunge and I uh, thought I'd share a little bit about it. Um, just for comparison's sake, there's a normal size card. So you can see right off the bat, it's probably twice as tall, if not more than a normal card. Um, and uh, yeah, it's not the only thing that's going forth that's a little bit different. Uh, so, so getting to it, this is Cars Biscuits. And this is from 1967. There's 20 cards in the set, and I'll, uh, I'll show them all to you here. Um, one of the reasons I love this set is the really great imagery. So very artistic photos. Uh, the, black, the backs are all blank, by the way. Um, and the reason I was excited to pick this up, this is a very high quality set. So um, apart from, you know, these are white cards. So every once in a while, you'll see like a little tiny stain on some of these. But apart from that, and like little tiny nicks on a few of the corners, it's quite an amazing condition for, uh, for how old it is. I guess we're looking at what, 55 years old here. Um, so, you know, that's the first thing, great photography. Uh, the second thing is just a great checklist. So, uh, you know, as we look through here, I'm starting out with, uh, with some players that might not be as much of household names. Uh, but you'll see shortly that, uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot of all-time great players in this set, a lot of Hall of Famers. Uh, so there's Ted Dexter, Graveney. Um, so, you know, with only a 20-card set, they really did an amazing job of finding not only fantastic photos, but also choosing, you know, all-time great players that a lot of these guys were, you know, in their primes when this set was made. Another thing that's great about this set is that, uh, you know, most of the sets from this era did not have a large international checklist. Uh, in this one, you know, you get players from the West Indies, you know, which is one of the highlights for me. You know, you've got right here, right, four Hall of Fame greats. And, uh, you know, I'll jump ahead. you got Sobers in this set, which is amazing. I'll, I'll show that card in a little bit more detail in a second. Um, but, yeah, like having those West Indies greats to me is a huge draw. And then also the South African greats, right? Um, Peter Pollock and Graham Pollock. There's a, uh, a great combo there. And uh, Graham Pollock, you know, one of the highest averages of, of all time. Uh, really great batsman. And Peter Pollock a great as well. And here you even got Pakistan. So uh, Hanif Muhammad was also a Hall of Famer, another great batsman. Um, you can see right on there. At the time, he had the world record score of 499, and he was trying to run uh, to, to get his 500th run, and they ran him out. Um, but he was uh, Pakistan's captain and, you know, a great, um, great player for Pakistan. And you've got India also represented, uh, another great player from the era. So to me, I just, I really enjoy this set for the, the checklist, the photography, and, you know, Wes Hall does not have a ton of cards. I think this is one of his very first cards. Graham Pollock, this is his only rookie card. Uh, and again, you know, it's a shame that, you know, the South African team, um, just because of politically, like a lot of these guys didn't have full test careers, but, uh, you know, for the, the little bit that Graham Pollock showed and what he showed domestically, one of the great batsmen of all time. And, you know, one of Sobers' first cards. You know, he's got the, the 1957 Barrett, obviously, and the 1965 um, from Australia. But as far as I know, this might be his third or, or maybe fourth card ever. So there you go. Um, I hope that you enjoyed a little glimpse into these cards. And again, I mean, look at the size of these. I do want to give a shout out, too, to my friend Wynn, uh, who, um, you know, Funny enough, another cricket card collector here in Virginia uh, that's passionate about it like I am. We like a lot of the same stuff, but he had some different kinds of sheets, and uh, and he introduced me to this sheet, which I think he said is usually for currency, but these cards just fit in perfectly. So uh, he only gave me one of these just kind of as a sample, so I think I'm going to pick up some more and put the whole set in these because they're really perfect, and then I can put them in a binder. So I uh, hope that was helpful. Thanks, y'all.